The level 126 is not quite as easy as the 124, but it can be done for instant or at least fairly low repair, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Hey everyone, Derpy here, back with another Battle Pirates video. Starting out, the 126 does matter what angle you enter from. I like to enter from 6, maybe more like 530, and, or just directly south, and start out by grouping everything up and immediately moving directly towards this first battlecruiser. The goal is to take out the battlecruisers as quickly as possible. Click on this thing and keep it in range of your black spot ability from your mutineers, and that should slow it down enough for you to kill it and do a lot of damage to it. Then, you're going to head directly through, again through the top of the target for the next battle cruiser. You need to get here before the Typhoons get too close to you and end up, end up doing too much extra damage to you. The middle of the target is pretty tricky to navigate. It does seem there are some dead spots or something is going on a little bit fishy in here. Just be aware of that and try and kill this battle cruiser. You have to go from this angle instead of the top of the target because it is going to uh, move away from you in this direction right here. Once that is dead, you can start killing some of these Typhoons. A quick note, some of these Typhoons might sometimes be ammo carriers, some of these ammo carriers might sometimes be Typhoons, and the clouds in this place are random. Start out by just finding one that you can get close to and you can kill, hopefully without killing too many of these ammo carriers along the way because those are pretty important. You do also have the golden rings here, and I'm going to zoom back in so I can see a little bit more closely and start uh, killing these things and staying out of the range of these golden rings. If you are in range of an ammo carrier like I am right here and can reload and shoot these things faster, that is your ideal situation. Make sure you do also move if a golden ring thing is coming towards you. I'm going to spin around a little bit, stay away from this ammo carrier until the Typhoon comes towards me. Try and engage it from the side if at all possible. I'm going to engage it from the left side right here so I can use this ammo carrier right here to heal me up. And I want it to not be moving directly at me. If it is, like it is right now, I'm going to need, and when it's just almost at about half health on this last spawn of drones, I generally need to start moving away so that it doesn't spawn drones when it's too close to me and kill me, which is what I'm worried about here. At this point, looks like we have one Typhoon left, and it's at the top of the target. I could kill it now, or I could wait, which is what I'm going to do until this ammo carrier right here moves up towards the top. At the same time, I'm going to look around for anything in the target. I can mop up a little bit, and I'm going to wait till these two are closer. Because of that, I can kill all these Typhoons, or ammo carriers on the left, rather. They don't matter whatsoever. You will notice I've taken the most damage on ship 5, so if at all possible, I'm going to use a different ship to tank this next Typhoon. Um, hopefully ship 1, because I have that built out a little bit more of a higher evade build, and I can do a little bit more uh, damage towards that. There are, again, dead spots in this target. I can click some places, and my ship won't really respond very well. Like right now, I click right here, and it starts driving up to the top. I have no idea why, um, and it's very, very annoying. I, I, it really should not be happening. Maybe there's some kind of invisible thing on top of here and I just can't control my ship. But I'm not gonna let that stop me, just going up towards the Typhoon here, edging slowly up a little bit at a time, wait for it to come towards me, and if it is doing a lot of damage to me and it is getting closer than this green ring, I will turn around and run like I am right now so that it doesn't really do any damage to me. Looks like I forgot to tank with ship number five, but ship two took most of that damage. Not a big deal. At this point, I could auto everything if I wanted to, although I'm going to drive it just so these ammo carriers dry die more quickly, um, just so that that can happen. Now, I am using a steel head screw, which does help, and I do have an average upgrade of U3, which is, uh, you know about average of the active high level player base, I would say. And I will also be releasing more videos throughout this raid with my U0 fleet hitting various different targets. So make sure you stay around for those things and you know how to find more YouTube videos. There's a button to click, that's all you gotta do. If you are enjoying me making these videos day one of raid, by the way, go ahead and leave a like so I know you appreciate this. And I'll make more of these things. Now let's see the battle report from this particular battle. Damage taken is mostly concussive, a little bit of explosive. Maybe I hit an explosive ring somewhere. If you can give me a time in seconds of where I actually took this damage, I'd appreciate that being able to find this thing. And of course, damage I dealt was concussive and explosive. Total repair time is 9 minutes and 10 seconds, split up pretty evenly across a few ships in here, so this is instant repair in base, and you do get a pretty nice payout for this thing, and the target isn't even that hard to drive. Maybe I did get a little bit lucky on this round, but I'm generally seeing below 25 minute repairs with my upgraded fleet. 
If you have any questions on this video, go ahead and leave a comment below. Hope this helped, and as always, this is Derpy, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.